Inside the growing follicle, there are two types of cells. The theca cells on the outside, they take cholesterol from the blood and with luteinizing hormone, they make androgens. The granulosa cells are on the inside. They take those androgens and with follicle stimulating hormone, turn them into estrogen. But in PCOS, luteinizing hormone is much higher than follicle stimulating hormone. So more androgens are produced than can be converted into estrogen. Excess androgens lead to insulin resistance and insulin resistance makes the ovaries produce even more androgens. It becomes a vicious cycle. Normally, the luteinizing hormone to follicle stimulating hormone ratio is about 1 is to 1. But in PCOS, it can rise about 2 is to 1 or even 3 is to 1. The imbalance blocks follicle development, leaving multiple small immature follicles. No dominant follicle and no ovulation. So why does luteinizing hormone become abnormally high in PCOS? There are a few reasons. There is a genetic component which predisposes some women to abnormal signaling in the hypothalamus. Excess androgen production, mainly due to insulin resistance and sometimes from additional androgens produced by the adrenal glands. And importantly, low progesterone also leads to high luteinizing hormone.